Hey, what's up, guys? Tack Rouse, first look here at the Rapala booth, kicking it off ICAST 2023 with our boy, Mike Ike Iconelli, and another cool bait that we got to play with a few weeks ago during yes. the vlog shoot. Really cool stuff. But walk us through the bait and the new design. It's a whole, whole new lineup of jerk baits from, from Rapala. Yeah, brand new. And here's the thing. Rapala has a lot of great jerk baits. You know the Husky Jerk, you know the x Wrap, you know the Shadow Wrap. They're all good ones. But this one's designed from the ground up. Corey, it's got tons of great features. Where do you want to start? Anywhere? Let's, Where do you start? All right, let's start with... Head to tip. Let's start Head with how this thing casts, because yeah. you know from our, our vlog, it casts like My, a rocket. Yeah. But they're using a tungsten ball casting system in this one. And, dude, this thing throws. So if you fish a lot of jerk baits, you know that wind is a killer for most jerk baits, right? You go to cast, it just flubs. Because of those tungsten weights in there and they shift, Dude, you're going to be able to throw this thing a mile, even in wind, okay? So that's super, super important. Cool. All right, let's look at the lip. A lot of jerk baits have a thick bill on them. Look at that, how thin that bill is on the Maverick, and it cuts through the water, giving it a very erratic side to side. And, and that's jerk bait fishing. You want a bait that yeah. darts left and right. That happens because of that bill. All right, let's talk about colors. Dude, look at the lineup here. 16 colors, at least, if not more, and a lot of these colors are translucents. Yeah, really cool paint jobs. Dude, I love that. So matching the hatch, look, yellow perch, uh, blueback herring, smell, owl wife, uh, whatever you want to match. Translucent colors, great for clear water. Dude, the hooks, the hooks. Money. We, we talked Sticky. about it earlier, but yeah. I want to say it again. VMC Redline, they have that Teflon. It's not Teflon. T-P-F-E, I, can't, I think. Right. Something like that. Uh, yeah. Very sharp hooks, uh, super sharp. Dude, this is the bait. It's suspending. The great thing about this thing, you can modify it, right? Yeah. Putting smaller hooks on, I can get it to slow rise. Put bigger hooks on it, I can get it to slow sink. But suspending bait, it's a killer, man. Kill, it's kill. a killer. I, I mean, sticky thing. I remember we take, when we were setting up for the shoot, both the camera guys are pulling these out of the box. Both of them stuck themselves. Yeah, but trying to they take even them tied out. it on. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. It's and, crazy. Well, I, what I like about the color, too, you said it's translucent, but I like how it has use that, that top color and that belly to it, and then that clear kind of in the middle. Yep. So for me, when we get that roll, it kind of gives a totally different look than you've seen a lot of their jerk baits. Totally you know, different yeah. look. So you've got all new colors, and it's got flash, and it's got vibration. It's got a lot of elements working for it, clear water. When you want to get a bait that has cadence, the Maverick is the bait. If you guys want to check out a jerk bait, you, you need to, we had a good time checking it out. Awesome, awesome baits. Love these things. New PXR Maverick. PXR is precise, extreme design, something like that. Precision Extreme mm. Series. Series, okay, yeah. series. But again, awesome, cool baits. Right now available for pre order on TAC where else. Check them out. Ike, we're going to wrap up. We're going to kick you out of the booth. We got something else <laughs> coming up next. We're done with you, bud. Hey, thanks, guys. Check them out. Up next is another bait we got to check out earlier. We were fishing with Iconelli, and DQ sent us Dan Quinn, sent us a bunch of the new baits out there. And this is the Shatter App Elite. We picked this guy up and tied him on. We kind of tried out all the new baits. Very first cast I had this bait. I caught a fish. He wasn't a giant, but a very cool bait. A uh, new one from Rapala. Again, the new Shatter App Elite. Walk us through the new bait. Yep, so what you're holding is the 55. I've okay. got the 75 here, so two sizes. You know, similar to that Shatter App sizes. I mean, the number five, the number seven couple that have been around forever and extremely extremely popular but yeah those shatter app elite i've had these actually for a, a few of them i didn't get very many but i got uh, got a handful a couple i cast to go um and the neat thing with this bait it is a shatter app kind of profile obviously but it's a little bit heavier you okay. can actually can fish this on bait casting gear if you want to oh, nice. um and then it does have a little bit more thump to it as well as the fact that that bill is kind of squared off in the front okay you know yeah, one thing with the with the shad wrap those round bill, the way that it's shaped and everything about it, it's not great around wood cover. Oh, I mean, sure, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. not. It's going to get hung up a lot. But this being a little bit more squared off, you're actually able to fish this in and around a little bit more wood cover than what you traditionally could with a shad wrap. But yeah, a, a more castable shad wrap does have a little bit more thumb to it and able to fish it in more places. And it's going to come with, uh, and I guess with the, with the new, I guess, style body, I guess the material, mm -hmm. a lot cooler paint jobs, a lot yeah. different, you know. They, it really opens up the, the, their options for doing more, you know, unique style paint jobs as well. Yeah. And are, are these guys, I believe, are they coming all with the red line hooks as well? Correct. I think I think they are coming. With, it's definitely with the premium treble, premium, whether yeah. it's whether it's a red line or not. It definitely is a premium treble. Um, but yeah, those finishes they took that elite part of it 
all the way from the construction of the bait to the finish of the bait. Um, it, it, is, it is an elite bait, top to bottom. Again, as everyone knows the shad wrap. Well, as most of you guys know the shad wrap. This is the shad wrap. Take it to the next level. Yeah. The shad wrap elite, very cool bait. Make sure to pre-order them right now on Tackle Warehouse. All right, guys, up next is another really cool bait, the fourth generation in the OG lineup with our good friend, Ot Defo. Talk about this new bait for us. Uh, again, we, we got a sneak peek at some of these baits a little earlier in the year. Yep. And this is a really, really, really cool bait. Yeah, it absolutely is. You know, it, you pick this bait up, and then obviously you see the name of it, Deep Tiny. Yeah. You know, we've already got Tiny. That was the second bait in the OG lineup. Yeah. So it's this exact bait, uh -huh. body-wise. Yeah, yeah. But we've added a, a bigger bill, a little bit longer bill, changed the, changed the angle of it, and moved the line tie to, to where, you know, with Tiny, it's like a four-foot max. I mean, that's about as deep as you're okay. going to get Tiny. This Deep Tiny will run down there to about seven feet. Oh, wow. And I'll be honest, it was a bit of a process to try to get <laughs> a, almost exactly the same action, yeah. but to add that other three foot of depth to it. It really was, um, you know, to make the build the right width, right length, everything about that. Uh, but yeah, so imagine that you've got the action of Tiny now in a bait that'll run out to about seven feet deep. And I guess talk a little bit about, like I said, the, why, the, this in general, why thin profile yep. bait, what, how should it come into play, and yep. just the, why, why you like this style of bait in general. Yeah, you know, flat sided crank baits in East Tennessee, where I'm from, uh -huh. just go, go, you know, go together really well. Um, we, those baits have been made there for years and years, and it's because they are fish catchers. I, I could come up with a lot of reasons and make it sound really good as to why they are and all this kind of stuff, but the fact of the matter is they just are. Just catch. They yeah. just catch fish. Yeah. They just do. Um, you know, I, I do think some of the factors with it, it is a more subtle bait. You okay. know, a round bait's going to push more water. Okay, yeah. It's going to create more displacement. When you're fishing for fish that are very smart, very educated, they're pretty dialed in as to how, literally, how a shad feels or how, okay. how a bait fish feels in the water. And I think this is more similar to that. A little more natural. A little more natural. Okay. That, to me, that, that's what it's about with that flat side. You're, you're imitating more closely what those fish are just absolutely eating. And besides that circuit board, Bill, what is going yep. on with the line tie here and how, and how it's attached and, and, and that concept there? Yep, so that, that line tie is actually out into the bait just a little, or actually okay. out into the bill just a little bit. Um, but you can see that little bit of clear plastic. That's actually how all of the OG baits are. You can see that little bit of clear plastic uh -huh. between the line tie and the body. That little clear plastic plug extends back into the bait. Oh, and you okay. don't see this on all the other OG baits, but uh -huh. that's exactly the same way they are. That, okay. that plastic plug is what's holding that line tie securely into the oh, bait. Nice. Okay. Um, so we were able, they were the engineers with Rapala were like, okay, here's how much we can tolerate, here's what the bait will hold up and still be durable. We can get it out this far with that. So that's kind of what you can see. And then, you know, the actual wire itself actually drops down below the bait so that you don't have that sitting above it. So you can see that wire coming through on the bottom side and then going back in the bait as well. But yeah, that's part of that clear plastic plug that kind of holds everything okay. together there. And again, a really cool bait, you know, and if you guys, I mean, every bait, you're known for throwing crankbaits <laughs> and, and this style of bait, and it's every detail is thought about. Awesome, awesome bait. And again, 365 days a year, not yeah. just uh, people think winter time, but this That's is right. 365. It, it really is, and I think that with all flatwood ba or flat sided baits, uh -huh. you hear a flat sided bait, you think cold water. Those yeah. things have been preached together hand in hand over the years. Um, but when I uh, won down here in Florida a few years ago in May, oh, wow. I caught a lot of fish on Slim yeah. in May in Florida. It wasn't cold, okay? Yeah. But those fish were. Is it were, ever cold in Florida? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> uh, but those fish were really biting that flat sided yeah. bait. Then you know, yeah. it just was. A, it was a really good tool for the job. I actually had Tiny in that particular situation. Okay. And they would not eat the smaller bait, but they would eat the bigger Slim. Really? So it's just you know sometimes you just have to trial and error and see what see what works. But uh, one one quick little story you bet. and a, a part of the product video that we did. Uh, with uh, with tiny or with deep tiny, and in this color in that Coosa special, when yeah. we were uh, doing that product video this year, Dan Quinn with Rapple was fishing out of the back of my boat and caught one almost seven. Oh wow! His, I think his first fish on this bait was almost a seven pounder out of the back of my boat. So and if that allows Dan cool. Quinn to catch a big fish, you Correct. know anybody can catch a big fish. Anybody that can. guy does no clue what he's doing. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Love yep. you, Dan. Just yep. kidding. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Well, again, a very cool bait available for pre order right now on Tack Warehouse. Coming out this fall, guys. Check them out, man. You really want to have these guys out. All right, guys, up next, another cool bait the new Rippin' Blade. And this is, you know, a little something different, but it's a. This one's one I haven't checked out yet, so you need to tell me more about this one. Okay, yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, blade baits have kind of made a resurgence oh, sure. with forward-facing sonar. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, that's become a, become a big way to fish those type of baits, you know. 
finding fish out there under bait balls, that type of stuff. Um, but what's nice about this ripping blade is it's a little bit bigger profile. Yeah. It's it's really about the size of what a lot of bait fish are, I feel like, in the wintertime sure. in that colder water, you know, two and a half, two and three quarter inches long. And then this, to be that big, most blade baits traditionally would be at least three quarters of an ounce, yeah. you know, and fall really fast. This one's nine sixteenths. So it is heavy enough to get down there quickly, but it's also not so heavy that it's always just falling like a brick through the water column. And it's shaped where it has a good shimmy on it, and it, it starts up as well. You can make that bait vibrate really easy when you start lifting it back up off the bottom. So, um, yeah, just an excellent blade bait op, you know, option going forward, and got a lot of great colors in it too. In that tungsten, it allows you to get that smaller profile, a uh, smaller weight on there in that tungsten. But I'm guessing that tungsten too, probably better signature return on yeah. the formation sonar as well. So it's yeah. like. Not only does it get down better, but also you can see it a lot better on that forward fishing center, which is a huge deal because everyone's yeah. doing that now. They get any advantage you can see to get a little better. It's going to have to get that more fish in the boat. Yeah. I guess real quick in general, how, how does the, the different line times come into play for action? Yep. Um, yes. Let me. Okay, I'm 99% sure in saying this. It's been a minute since I fished a blade yeah, bait, yeah, yeah. but uh, the more forward you go, okay. the deeper it's going to run okay. because you're going to make the bait hang. You know, hang yeah. more nose, yeah. hang more like that. Um, it's, so it's going to run deeper in the forward one, and yeah. it's going to be a little bit tighter. Okay. Okay. You go, you know, if you go towards the back one, the bait is going to be more for fishing vertical at that yeah. point, and have a much wider wobble okay. to it. So it, it kind of allows the angler to fine tune that a little bit as he sees. And uh, the good part is you can watch what they're doing, watch how they're reacting, yeah. fine tune it pretty quick. That's, that's again, that's <laughs> so cool for four things to be able to react like that. Then have one bait, you can change it up. Yeah. More action, go to the back. Less action, tighter action, go to the front. Yep, uh, another, again, a really cool bait available for pre order right now in Tack or else. That's going to wrap it up for Ott. Up next, we have to kick you out, bud. Okay. We got DQ coming to join us, I think. Oh, no. Yeah. Good luck with that. Yeah, all right, bud. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Yep, thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, up next is another new bait. Now, Dan, when we went to the Ike shoot, you told me you were going to send me all the new stuff for me and I can check out. I didn't see this one. This Why one's not? late to the game. Okay. We, got, we just got him in. Okay. But, I'll, I'll forgive you. But. What is it? Late to the First party, time. but certainly one of the more impressive new baits we've got through the year. For sure. It's um, it's a cool bait. We worked with Cody Huff, yep. who's the jig and wrap, right? Like yeah, the yeah. jig and wrap, the ice fishing lure from 50 years ago. And it's still innovating. It's catching fish more than it's ever caught fish. But we introduced the jig and shadow wrap, which yep. is a play off the jig and wrap. It was a slower fall, All right. yeah, yeah. which has applications in colder water, shallower water. We had the flat jig that's yeah. gone away, but we, we came back and reinvented. Those are going for like 60 bucks on eBay right now, huh? It is, yeah, absolutely. It's yeah, it's yeah. nuts. People that understand it know what it is. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a really cool tool, and it weighs an ounce and an eighth. Oh, wow. So it's super heavy, and when you're live scope, forward-facing sonar, wow. when you see fish, you need to get down quick. You need to know what direction they're going, and you need to get in front of them. Now, yeah. And this bait is like a missile. It just shoop, it goes straight down. Wow. It's got a little sachet, but it, it falls in a, in a small circle. I mean, it, okay. it goes where you want it to Pretty go. Pretty tight target, yeah. Yeah. And one thing that's been really cool to learn about is action on lures when they're at depth. When okay. you get past 20 feet, your line becomes an anchor. Okay. And you really lose your action. Unless you've got a bait with horizontal action, which which jigging wraps do, and this does with this tail fin. Okay. So it, it it swims, it oh, dances, yeah, yeah. and you. So watching Cody fish these deep deep wintertime bass in the Ozarks, Bull Shoals, Table Rock, all those kind of places, mm -hmm. where they really get deep and those shatter deep, you can see bait balls, and you, you need a bait that gets down there and you shake it and. It, they, they react to it. Yeah. It's it's totally a tool. But out in California, where you guys are yeah, at, yeah. I mean, ice jigs, right? Like they've been Huge a big deal. Yeah. And 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 this is really cool. We we took all the good things and and realized what the, where the issues were, uh -huh. and we fixed all that. So it's built like a lure. Okay. So it's it's not going to break. The tail's not going to fall off. We we got a bigger hook. Okay. Nice. More gap. There's a swivel in the belly, so the fish lose their leverage. Oh yeah. And We'll throw that bait. Yep. This is a really, really exciting new lure. I'm, I'm excited to see what people are going to do, new techniques, new trends with forward-facing sonar. As it's just it's constantly evolving right now. Yeah. And this, this I'm excited about this one. It, it's, it, cool. it, it, it's the next evolution of jigging wrapping, right? I mean, it's kind of taking the next level, stepping up, better quality, more. I don't want to say better quality, but it's more innovation, more and, and more fish catch. Again, with that forward-facing sonar, you said you need to get down there to that deeper stuff. And you don't think about that because, like you said, you've got all that line out there. That's just all that drag. 
you think you're doing a lot, but it's, even yeah. with the spoon, a flutter spoon, yeah. you wouldn't believe it. it. They hardly have any action when you get deeper than 20 feet. So you think we've, stu we've studied this? Well, you're shaking your drop shot. You're not doing much. Right. It's you're not. Just, it's tying not, yourself out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but these this this bait design, the horizontal action, yeah. it, they just dance and they're a live minnow and they it fires them up. It's I, I it was it was a fun process fishing with Cody, learning that technique uh -huh. and, and to to make this bait right, and we perfected it and it's yeah I'm fired up about it. Well, very cool. If you guys want to go get get some deep deep ice fishing if you want to, but more importantly, deep water fishing sonar, make sure to check them out. Available for pre order right now on Tackle Warehouse. Hey guys, up next, just like everything else Raffles has been doing, they've been stepping up their game. New baits, new Crust City, new Elites, the new storage boxes from Rapala. What's going on with these new boxes, Dan? So the wrap stack are cool. Wrap They're, stack, I like the wrap it. Wrap stack, yeah. So they, they do, they, they, they stack on each other well, so oh, they don't yeah, okay. slip. There's some, just some really cool little details that we put into these that, 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 that make them really awesome, honestly. Like, you can stack them, you know, they stand up on their sides. Okay. They're, they're a li they're more rigid, so as you, you know, they don't flex as much. They're they're just really. It's a nice material. It's clear. You can see through it, but uh -huh. it's not crystal clear. It's got this gray one-handed operation, like yeah. to open, cool, which is really slick. Um, what we have, we have a 3600, yeah, okay. standard 3600. Yeah. We have a 3600 with foam, okay. which is cool. If you really want to protect your hooks, your treble hooks, your jig heads, these, this is a really nice deal. I, I'd not used them in the past, but I've, I'm all in with these. The That's foam is cool. cool. It's a really cool, really cool like, way to store your stuff, you know. Tungsten jigs, stuff's yeah. expensive. You, you yeah. want to take care of it, you don't want your hooks dulling, your paint's chipping off. So anyways, two 3600s and yep. then a 3700, which is your standard 3700, and then a 3700 deep. Okay. And then also a 3700 deep open. Oh, so if so you no, want to keep nothing in there, right? Nothing in there. So it's wide open. You can keep plastics in there, tools, whatever you want. So um, I guess what keeps the locks on the bottom, you can see it has the this is part of the system there to keep locks in place. Yep. It matches up with on top here. Right. That, that's what keeps yep. it that locking. Yeah, it's almost like a Lego system. You okay. Know? Legos, not quite as it won't lock lock, you but get Lego business. Now. <laughs> <laughs> right. Kids' toys. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> well, so, hey. anyways. Um, yeah, and then they also come with the cool little tab. You can write oh, what's cool. in there. Yeah, to help you keep keep organized. I mean, it's always the goal. But um, yeah, they're they're really nice. Another thing I noticed too is, is like it's not just you got like you put two or three dividers in there and have very little options. You have almost endless options for putting those dividers in there, so you can custom get the compartment you need for any size bait and really maximize the storage in each box. And that allows you to maximize the storage in the boat as well. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, there's endless, infinite options as far as your dividers and okay. where, how big each compartment you want to be. Um, as well, might seem kind of dumb, but it's a big deal. They're pre-cut. No more ask, scissors. Please tell me they're pre-cut. Right, no I more scissors. All That's all we learned. I'm so, cussing, yeah. you don't cut all the way, then you gotta cut it again. Yeah, yeah. we took care That's of that huge. for you. So, so These boxes, yeah. all these are for demonstration here, but they will come with pre-cut tabs, ready to go, custom make your spot, customize again. Customize your storage exactly what you need, and allows you to get more stuff in your boat. And, you, and the guys are always joking all the time. I like to keep a lot of stuff in my boat, and uh, I don't. I like. I have a lot of stuff. I want to keep it all. And now I guess I got to switch all my boxes out to these new guys. It's like I load the boat with about 10,000 pounds of new Rapalai <laughs> jigs, elite crankbaits, and some Crush City stuff. So you yep. guys want to check out these boxes? You guys will be more fishing on the water, carry more stuff. Check them out right now. Pre-order on Tackle Warehouse. All right, again, up next, another really cool frog. It seems silly to be too excited about it. I'm super stoked about them, especially for me, the tool holders, but also this guy here. Because we talked earlier, you can walk us through it, but I could put two, three, four bunks in the boat, have them ready to go, sit with my spools ready to go, and be, again, be more efficient. So walk us through what is going on with, with, with this whole system here. Yeah, so the Smart Hub system is, is, is a system with one, one main thing, which is this this which holds all the tools and okay. they're interchangeable so they 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 hold them very securely okay. but they're easy to remove and once you remove the tool holder you can put a cup holder you can put the line spooler on that system as well as using these on a track in yeah. your garage or in, in your boat i mean it's it's a cool deal and what we've done is we're just adding more more you know tools that we need yeah. accessories that make sense yeah. um one the line spooler is really cool so you you can mount that in your boat, uh -huh. you can take it off, and then you can put. It, you can have a smart hub 
receiver yep. in your garage, you can move it back and forth. Okay. A cup holder, a line spooler, a two holder, whatever it is, um, it's all interchangeable. And the line spooler is cool because, I don't know, fluor you want fluorocarbon leaders. You yeah. can put two or three of them in on this. Oh, wow. And it's, it's got a little cutter built in. Okay. So they're always there. You open up the lid, there's your floor. And then if you want, you can spool up, you know, your reel. You can put. So you, give it, you give it two or three spools all in the same one. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's all I know. That. That's awesome. So yeah. You know, like even more now. Right. That's yeah. It's, it's, it's handy. So it's always there. Uh -huh. You can peel it off and cut it right there. It's, 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 a, it's, it's very efficient. Yeah, yeah, it's a sure. cool deal. And then you throw it in your garage. And you know when you want to spool up your, you know, put new, fresh line on. You got it. So, anyways, it all plays off the Smart Hub system, which you can use a track or you okay. can mount these individually. You can screw them in or use VHB tape okay. that's provided. Put it in, holds it securely. And this is, so this is magnetic yeah, as yeah. well. Oh, wow, cool. So it helps to hold the tools in. It's got little, you know, hang your lures on it. You can, it's just, it's a handy thing to have. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's, it's handy, but also it's convenient to be able to switch it out something else. You know, if you need to be able to track system where you just want to put a new receiver on, or I think almost more importantly, one thing we don't have here, you know, you can put your line spooler on your tools, but one tool you need a lot of time on the boat is you need a, a soda pop, we'll call it, on the boat with you. And we've got a cup holder that goes right on the back of the receivers as well. So you yep. can have that pop with you, or a few pops, however you need to have, whatever. But heck, we get two or three, you get a whole, you get the whole, what's the, uh, the rack system, you get all kinds of, the whole boat full of pops on there. Well, you could, yeah, yeah. You get the track system going, yeah. put them on, uh, put them everywhere. Get a 12 pack going. You don't ever, <laughs> you don't ever want to be without a cup holder. No, no. <laughs> so, so again, a very cool, very innovative, very uh, efficient, very just, and in quality too. It's, a, it's very it is, quality, yeah, yeah. It is. We, yeah, we didn't skimp on these. Yeah. They're really well made. They're, they're, they're good. Well, so. If you guys want to get more tools in your boat, and be able to get more versatile with the stuff, get your cup holder, spool up with some line. Definitely check out the new Smart Hub magnetic system. What are we calling these? The Smart Hub track system. Smart Hub track system. Uh, some of these and are the available. Right, sorry, guys. The Smart Hub accessories. Accessories. Yeah, the some of them are available right now on Tackle. Some are coming in, but check them out. By the next few month or two, shall be available on Tackle Warehouse. Check them out, guys.